Welcome, you're watching Speedway Motors Insider. I'm Dave C. We're gonna give the inside scoop on some of the products you can find on Speedway Motors website and our catalog. Right now we're in the R2C Competition Series Filters booth. We're with Ed Stroka. Yeah. Ed, welcome, man. Hey guys, welcome to uh, IMIS. Nice to see you, Dave. You too, my friend. Um, you too, Ross. <laughs> First of all, let's talk a little about uh, the filters that you guys provide to yeah. the racing industry. Uh, a little background, in 2008, we had some inquiries from the uh, dirt car community about trying to help resolve some of the problems. And the problems were dirt in the bases, dirt in the carburetors, and we looked at some of the, uh, the products that they were using. And our background is military filtration. So we had to, to make the determination, and number one, could we resolve the problems the guys were having? And uh, if we could, how we would approach this marketplace. So after studying it, and we learned a lot from the dirt late model community, and modified, and we developed a unique media for it, and spent some time testing, and the end result, after a few years, is this piece. This is our late model and modified filter, and this is a synthetic media, never requires oiling. The guys at the track just blow it clean with compressed air. So you go out, you do hot laps qualifying, you can use the same filter, blow it clean from inside out, put it back on the car, and you're ready for the feature, and you can do it over and over again. No more oiling, the maintenance time was cut down dramatically, and the key was, stopped a lot more dirt. Obviously, our uh, the maintenance protocol was much easier to deal with. The key to this piece, in particular, is you'll see the relationship between, we call this our offset filter, and what we did was we actually moved the media away from these radiuses that the guys use in the uh, late model and modified community. That changed that profile width, and it created a much better signal with the carburetor. And the result was more power, we had more media area. Our two C filters, if you test them all brand new, they're all pretty close. The key to a filter is how it holds dirt without impacting restriction. So imagine you're halfway through a race, it gets dusty, the filters start to collect dust, which is what they're designed to do, and then you watch the horsepower just go away. Because it has no place to put it and still store air. And the key to our media is depth, loft. The fiber structure has thickness, so we can hold dust and impact restriction much, much less. So you can take a dirt light model at the end of a 50 lap or 100 lap feature, you'll find 60, 70 percent less restriction in one of these than you will in the competitive field. So that was the real key. Stopping more dirt, improving the maintenance, making it much easier to deal with, and holding dirt so the guys can create or keep the horsepower that they brought rather than sacrifice it throughout the event. Now, we can't show it, it's not here, but you have some new technology that you're going to be introducing here very shortly. Yeah, it's been, uh, we've done 150 dyno pulls in the last few weeks, and we're trying to, to continue on improving the profile that we built using this offset filter and increasing, improving the signal to the boosters in the carburetor and making all that hard work and explosive carburetor purchase as effective as possible. So by creating flow directors and giving guys the opportunity to swap, having them interchangeable with our new base, it's going to be a uh, really effective tool for guys to tune at the track, on the dyno, and it gives them opportunity they've never seen before. All right, we're over here at the breathers. Ed, give us a little uh, lesson on the, the breathers. The same feedback that we required to build that, we started the game from the uh, late model and modified community, the entire dirt marketplace and anybody that relied on, on breathers. The issue was these things would drip. They put them on a valve cover, they, they got saturated with oil, and the oil wouldn't drain back. So they came to us and said, we wanted to hold more oil, stop the dripping <laughs> on the valve cover if you can, and make them a little more effective and easier to use. So we did, we looked at what happened, we built a drain back device in each one of the breathers, it allowed the oil to drain back in the valve cover rather than make a mess on top of your engine with these sophisticated aluminum covers. And the result has been this product. This one happens to have a true carbon fiber cap. So it's got, uh, not only is it strong, it doesn't crush because of our screens, they're very durable. Breathers tend to, as you lean on them, they, they collapse. We built heavy hex screens. We've got true carbon fiber, so the durability is increased and you can wash them like all of our filters simple green, oxy clean, you let them soak, let them dry for a full day, and go back to compressed air cleaning. And the same technology holds true here. And then we've got anodized aluminum caps in a variety of colors for those guys where vanity is important. <laughs> yeah. And then the shielded breathers for those guys that try to prevent some of the crankcase pressurization. So that's been a nice augment and that's going very well. 
Well, we want to thank you for being a vendor of Speedway Motors. It's our uh, pleasure. It, and it's it, it's all, about nice to, all about performance now. Yeah, always nice to see you at the show. Thank you very much. Folks, this has been Speedway Motors Insider. You got the inside scoop.